Visit us today for more details on the Corp Personal Loan. And your tune <laughs> will change. I got some money. This is Eldoret, a town synonymous with prowess in athletics, putting Kenya on the global map, as well as fostering development in the town. Superb, superb. The region is also considered to be the country's breadbasket, producing maize and wheat through a series of large-scale farms. But it is here that we meet Willie Kirwa, who is a prominent dairy farmer. Just to illustrate how committed he is to his trade, when we arrived in his house at 8 a.m., he was already out supplying milk. <laughs> the warm and welcoming Kira quickly offered to show me around his farm. <laughs> ina cost almost 2000 na unaona kwamba ukitengeneza homemade dairy meal ukiwa nyumbani una cut cost yako mpaka 1500 mimi mwenyewe kama mkulima nikitumia kunia moja kwa siku utapata kuona kwamba kwa mwezi mzima nitakuwa nime save almost 15000 and as i also dug into the mix i wondered how kirwa ended up being a dairy farmer nafikiri nilikuwa na nafasi ya kutembea nje ya Israel mwaka wa 2007 na nilipata kujifunza namna ya kutengeneza dairy meal his attraction to Israel, which is an arid country which has managed to not only remain food sufficient but become a leading dairy and agricultural exporter, so Kirwa used his own funds to travel to the small country to acquire modern farming techniques. Nilipata kuona kwa TV, nikaona vile wanaonyesha ngombe huko kwao, na nikaonalea kwamba mimi mwenye wacha nienda ni jione. It was while well in Israel that his focus shifted to dairy farming. Yeah, nilipofika pale nikapata kuona kwamba hao watu wamepata kuendelea sana. Na inji yao nikaona ni inji ambayo ni jangwa. Na nikaona kwamba hapa kwetu kama Kenya ni inji mzuri ambayo tunaweza fanya kazi ya dairy farming iwe kazi kubwa ambayo inaweza ongoza hata ulimwengu mzima. Kirwa whose entrepreneurial spirit sparked at an early age explains how it all started albeit with a twist to his education. Niliwacha sasa mwaka wa 82. Hapo ndio niliwacha shule kama kuingia mambo. Nikaamua kuanza kazi ya Wakati huo nilianza kazi ya kununua kondoo kidogo ninauza si kwa hata nimeanza kulima shamba baada ya hapo nikaanza kulima eka moja, mbili, pole pole hivyo mpaka nikafikisha eka hamsini nikipanda mahindi Despite the decision to drop out of school Kiro quickly amassed vital skills and knowledge on dairy farming giving him an edge over other farmers eh, Mara ya kwanza mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa napanda mahindi na panda ngano lakini mwishowe nilifanya hesabu nikaona ya kwamba pesa ambayo unapata ni mahindi ni kidogo sana kwa siku Na nikaona ya kwamba ukifanya kazi ya dairy ni pesa ambaye kila siku huwa napata pesa kwa sababu wa subuhi umepata maziwa, umepeleka kwa kambuni, unaona ya kwamba hakuna biashara ambaye na shinda dairy farming kwa sababu wa subuhi, maziwa umepata na tayari yu ni pesa. So how did he get started? Sa nilianza na ngombe tatu mara ya kwanza. Tuko na ngombe arubaine sasa hapa ndani. Uh -huh. Kwa sababu nilipata kununua manamba kidogo na nikaongeza na hiyo na tukapata kuendelea hivyo. Okay. Yeah. Kwa sahi ngombe moja inakuja wa almost uh, 150,000. Mm. Yeah. But just how lucrative is dairy farming? Utakuwa na maziwa, uwe na ngombe, baada hiyo tena uwe na ndama. Mwisho unaona ya kwamba ile waste ambaye ni cow dung utapata kutengeneza biogas ambaye tutaona vile tumejenga biogas na utakuwa na moto. Sasa unaona ngombe ni kila kitu. Kwa mfano ngombe ambaye tunakamua hapa ambaye natutolea lita 36 kwa siku unaona ya kwamba 36 liters times 30 ambaye ni bei ambaye zizi makambuni wanalipa kwa sasa. Sasa unaona ya kwamba that is 30 times 36 inakuja ngapi? So let's do the math here. Kirwa has 40 dairy cattle and one dairy cattle gives him 36 liters of milk. Milk is retailing at 30 shillings a liter in the market right now. So that's 36 times 30, you get 1,080 Kenyan shillings from one cow in one day. Multiply that by 40, you're getting over 40,000 Kenyan shillings one single day. Kirwa, who is hands-on in his business, proudly shares some of his achievements. Sasa huyu ngombe 1270 ni ngombe ambaye ilikuwa naongoza ASK ambaye ilichukua trophy the best efficient cow kwa ASK ya Eldoret mm. uh, 2011. On his two acre piece of land Kiro keeps 40 dairy cattle but has learned to diversify into other forms of animal husbandry. Kwa mfano tulianza na kuku 200. Pale ndani uko ukiwa na kuku 200 unaona ya kwamba Hiyo kuku miambili yota yuwezi teka mayai kwa siku moja. 
unaona ya kwamba kwa siku huku 170 itakuwa inateka na kwa bei ya mayai unaona mayai ukiuza kwa mlango ni shilingi kumi ambayo utakuwa unapata shilingi 1700 kwa siku like any other business however Kirwa is faced with various challenges shida kubwa ambayo tunapata ni ugonjwa ambaye inaitwa ECF ambaye uspo spray ngombe yako ECF igonge unapotapata ya kwamba ngombe yako itapata ya kukufa okay. yeah, na ingine ni kwamba sana sana huwa tunapata ya kwamba ukipandisha ngombe unaweza pandisha karibu mara mbili tatu sasa unaona ya kwamba kwa semen moja una cost almost 5000 to 10000 sasa unaona ya kwamba utapata kupata hasara nonetheless he remains a bit about the future of his business nikifikia kiwango ambaye nitakuwa na almost 1000 liters nikiwa hapa kitu ambaye natarajia nataka nifanye value addition nikiwa hapa badala ya kuuza maziwa kwa shilingi 30 ni use lita moja ambaye nime add value addition kwa shilingi 150 a happy and content Kirwa says he couldn't imagine doing anything else even with the new political craze provided by the trappings of devolution. Kwa mwezi nitakuwa na almost 900,000. Sasa ninaona ya kwamba hakuna haja hata mimi mwenyewe nisimame niseme niwe governor ama niwe MP ama niwe senator kwa sababu tayari unaona utakuwa una almost a million shillings mm -hmm. in the month ukiwa kwa mlango. And as we end our chat Kirwa shares some words of wisdom. Anza kazi yoyote ambayo unatarajia kuanza kama hii ya dairy farming ukianza kidogo na mwishowe utafika mahali For movers and shakers I am Tony Timase Visit us today for more details for the Corp personal loan and your tune will change I got some money